So today I'm gonna to be telling you guys all about my wedding story, y'all. This story is gonna be full of hearing about how Jeremy was the groomzilla all until leading up until the day that we got married. And I was so chill, I was relaxed, whatever's whatever. But on the day of our wedding, honey, I turned into a bridezilla. I was talking about, do this, do this, da 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 da. Also, I'm gonna be telling you guys about how we got married in the rain, lap dances, all of the shenanigans, all of the craziness. You guys are gonna hear about that here today. Good morning, my lovelies, my beauties, my friends. My name is Christina and welcome to my channel. If you're new here, thank you so much for clicking on this video. I really hope that you will subscribe, stick around, take a chance on hearing some things that I have to say. And if you are a returning subscriber, y'all already know, y'all are my babies. So good morning, good morning, good morning. How is everybody doing today? I hope you all are having an amazing day. If you guys did not see my house tour over on Casually Christina, you guys have been asking a lot about it. It is posted over there. Also, I am leaving very soon to fly down to South Florida to get this hair done. Y'all have not had this hair done in over a year. These dreads have been through the ringer, honey. I'm gonna be filming that and that'll all be over in Casually Christina too. So if you guys are interested in that, I always leave my second channel linked below, so check it out. For everybody that is new here and you may not really know me or know my story, I highly, highly, highly suggest you watching the videos down in the description box. It'll really give you some context of just who I am, what I've been through, and how important and special this day was for me. Of course, Every bride, every groom, every family member, or a loved one of somebody getting married has their own reasons and it's very special to them. But my reasons are my reasons and you might find them a little interesting. So Jeremy pops the question, boom, we get engaged. We get engaged and everybody's like, you need to pick a date, you gotta pick a date, we gotta plan, we need to plan. We're like, whoa, 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 like literally we just got engaged. I mean, we had been together for years before that, but it was just kinda, we were already living together. So to us, it was not a big rush. So we chose our wedding date a year away from the day that we got engaged. So we still had a whole year to plan to get married, all the family members had planned to travel if they needed to, or, you know, my mother-in-law was so excited because this is her first child that's getting married, and she's just, like, literally so happy, so, like, bleh, 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 bleh. So, okay, we picked it, we picked it, it's a year from now. So, during this year, you guys, I'm just gonna let y'all know, I'm a simple gal, okay? I am a very laid-back, chill gal. I don't need much in life. Don't get me wrong. I love nice things, I love nice things, but it's not the most important thing in the world to me. You know, me knowing that I was getting ready to marry my husband, my, my best friend was like more than enough. So me, and not to mention, if you guys didn't hear my other stories, back then at this time, I was working three jobs, I was doing, like I was, you know, working my butt off trying to, make ends meet with me and my husband. We struggled a lot financially. And then I, we would take the extra money that we had and we would like take trips because that's just the kind of person that I've always been. I would much rather go and have experiences with my family than buy a thousand dollar purse. You know what I'm saying? Like a thousand dollar purse, you know, I can take my whole family on a cruise for, uh, uh, uh. you know what I'm saying? Like for a whole week, we can be on a cruise, doggone eating doggone ice cream three times a day. Like, no, I don't, I'll get this purse from Walmart and I'm gonna take my, you know what I'm saying? That's just how I've always been. For Jeremy, I'm like, this is what we're gonna do. This is how we're gonna get married. I said, we're gonna go, all, we're gonna get married on the beach. Okay, I'm gonna go to the thrift store, I'm gonna find my dress, da 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 da. We're gonna get married on the beach. We don't need a big wedding. We don't need all that. And we'll come back and cook hot dogs in the backyard. We'll have a we'll have a cookout. Because I love, you guys, did you see my house tour? I love my backyard. It was a different house then, but it was still a really nice backyard. Like, I love a big green backyard. I thought we would put like, you know, those little tents you can get from Walmart up so people have shades and we can play the music and you know, people can have drinks and food and eat hot dogs and we can save money. But my husband is like, no, my husband is the groomzilla. Now, he was like, babe, I do not want to cook hot dogs in the backyard. I do not want to cook hot dogs in the backyard. And him and his mom kept drilling into my head, Christina, 
you cannot dollar store everything. You cannot dollar store everything. I'm like, but why? But dollar store's got some good stuff, you know, like, uh. So anyways, they really, really asked me about like what I really wanted, okay? If money wasn't an option, if this and that, what I really, really, really wanted. And what I really wanted was, and this was my dream wedding, but I just never thought it was possible for me, you know? I wanted to get a house on the beach on stilts, okay? And if, I'm gonna show you guys a picture so y'all can see the one we got. But I wanted a house on the beach, but I wanted it to be on stilts. And if you don't know what stilts are, it's where the house is up high and underneath are these wooden poles where you can drive cars under. And I wanted to do this house because then I wanted everybody to come to the house, you know, family from out of town so they didn't have to get hotel rooms and all that. And I'm thinking in my mind, instead of renting a venue, we can get a house for a whole entire week. We made our we made our wedding date in September, so it's the off season. Everything's gonna be cheaper, y'all. I'm always trying to think of how to save a coin, okay? And I'm like, we can be here for a whole week, we can get married, and then underneath the house, we will have a party. We'll do the reception, we'll do it all there at this beach house. And my my husband and my the, my in-laws too, because they were all in on everything too. Everybody thought it was a great idea, so I was so excited. So we started looking for houses, we found the perfect house my mother-in-law would pick a house my husband would pick a house and i'd be like no no this house like i wanted this house so we got the house and really we did everything ourselves we i got my wedding invitations from hobby lobby and i had them printed and i knew that i wanted the color purple and gray like i just love the way purple's my favorite color and then gray looks good too so they look good together. And we got all the food from Sam's. We went and got a bunch of chicken thighs because you know you can get chicken thighs for cheap, okay? We did all of that at the house. We cooked all the food, literally did everything. My mother-in-law and my husband's aunt really did so much. They were putting together all kinds of things, hanging things up. They were decorating. Like they, they were in hog heaven. They are decorators to their core, okay? So we got everything decorated. And we're gonna go and go on to the day. Now, my friend Alex, you guys know Pookie. Pookie flew in from Texas to be in my wedding. And I had all my bridesmaids, bridesmaids dresses, everything was ready. But the day before the wedding, I did not want to see my husband. So what I wanted to do was let everybody else, my husband and everybody that's staying at the house, stay at the house. And me and my girls, me and my bridesmaids, went and stayed at my house. And we ate cookies and we ate candy and we watched movies and we talked about me getting married and we basically had like a girls night slumber party night because I did not want my husband to see me until I walked down the aisle. I know maybe sounds kind of cheesy, maybe sounds super duper traditional, but that's what I wanted to do. So we did that. We, me and my girls hung out. We, we laughed. We may, maybe had a glass of wine. I can't remember, but you know, we just, we just spent time together. The next morning, me and the girls got up. We drove all the way an hour to Mac, okay, to get my makeup done because I did not know how to do my makeup back then at all. I still don't really know how to do my makeup, but it was way worse back then. And I drove to Mac, and then the lady did our makeups and da 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 da. So that was really cool. And then this is when things started getting crazy. We start to, me and the girls start walking out of the mall, and I hear thunder. Thunder. Oh, heck no. I'm getting married on the beach. It can't rain today. Literally, my cheap self, I didn't want to get no coverings. I didn't even get no chairs for the beach. You know how some people have chairs on the beach for their wedding? Uh-uh. I said everybody's going to stand. I got to save that coin. Y'all can stand. We're going to say I do. Then we can go back to the house and everybody can sit there because I ain't got time for all that. We did bring a few chairs for like the people that were elderly, but... Mm -mm. So I'm like freaking out. So we get into the car. My girls are trying to calm me down. And I'm like, oh my gosh, my makeup. Like I ain't got time. Like my friends are holding stuff over my face. You know, I'm, I, I'm like, oh my gosh, should we drive? We have to drive another hour all the way back to the house. We're rushing. Like it's raining. It's traffic. It's freaking out. I'm like, oh my gosh, this is not good. So we get back to the house and inside my side of the house, made sure Jeremy was on his side so he couldn't see me. Inside my side of the house had all the girls, all the bridesmaids, my grandma came in there and said hey to me and I had the girls come in there doing my hair and doing my other lady's hair and I wanted my hair really really curly as you can see here really really curly and the whole time we're watching outside and it's raining and I'm like oh my gosh like no, my hair's gonna be flat 
My makeup's gonna have streaks, like it's got to stop raining. So, my mother-in-law and them start telling me that if it keeps raining, they're gonna move all of the stuff from by the beach for where we're getting married at into the under part of the house and I'd get married under there. And I was like, I do not want to do that. Like, I do not wanna, I don't wanna do that. So I'm getting dressed, my girls are buttoning me up, they're all getting me ready and it starts to just sprinkle. The rain starts to slow down. And my mother-in-law's like, okay, we're getting ready to move everything in there. And this is when I got a little bit crazy. And I'm like, no. I look outside. I say, the sprinkling. Let's go. Right now. We're getting married. Right now. Right now. Right now. Right now. And she was like, what? And I'm like, let's go. Right now. I want to go. I, I want to get married on the beach. I want to get married on the beach. Like, oh my gosh, Christina. So, but that's what I wanted, you guys. Like, let me tell you something. Do not feel bad about being a bridezilla on your wedding day. That is, I mean, don't be nasty to people, but that is your day. You will never get that day back. Hopefully, you know, you won't have to do it multiple times. If you have had to, things happen. But obviously, every time we get married, we don't expect to do it again. We're expecting it to be our only time. So, you guys... Everybody starts rushing. We start rushing. We start rushing. I'm like, oh my gosh, oh my gosh. They start getting all of the guests because the guests were showing up and everything. Start getting them out there. Now they're staying out. You, they probably had about 10 people that had umbrellas. The rest of the people, you guys, when I tell you I'm so thankful that those people stood in the rain for me, they stood in the rain to watch us get married. It is a beautiful thing. So anyways, they get down and what happened is when you go out of the back of the house, there's like this big hump of sand down. So my husband was out there and he couldn't see until people got up over the hump. And you know, my grandma starts walking out with my brother, Kurt. He's not my real brother, but I've always called him, you know, my brother. All of the other groomsmen and bridesmaids go. And then, you know, I've got my flower girl that goes and then Jordan walked jordan walked down with his dad but then he came back up to get Jaden. and then if you guys you can see right here Jaden was walking and he tripped and he fell and everybody was watching him he was carrying the well he was carrying the ring box he didn't really have the ring on him or he had the you know whatever he's supposed to be the ring bearer i don't really know what he had i wasn't there but he was supposed to be the ring bearer so Jaden's Jordan's all helping him up and like everybody's like oh, oh. and when Jaden fell he starts picking up the sand and playing with it we throwing it in the air we were like okay we need you we need you to hurry up you can play in the sand later like come on come on come on come on come on before it starts storming before it starts lightning so they get down there and then I get up and I still remember that I got up over the hill and I saw my husband and he saw me and it was really awesome to see all of those people there too, you know, to see. And the song that was playing over the rainbow, but it was, you know, the guy that plays the ukulele, I think that's what it is. And um, he, he passed away. He was a Hawaiian dude. That song over the rainbow, that was the song that we chose for me to walk down to and everything. And it was beautiful. It was beautiful. And so I walked down and we got there and then... Jeremy read his vows and I read mine and we both had like kind of funny vows, right? Like, cause that's our personality. You know, I was saying things like, I promise to love you even when you're mad at the world, when the saints lose a game, you know, it was that type of thing. They were really funny vows that we said to each other and we didn't know which each other's vows were. We just chose to write them. And then he asks for the rings and Jeremy puts the ring on me and then here I go. I put the ring on the wrong hand for him. I'm so nervous and he's like, wrong hand. So I start busting out laughing. Everybody else starts busting out laughing because like y'all, I can't get nothing right. If you watch any of my videos, you guys know like I mess everything up. I mess every word up, every everything. I just, it's just, I even messed darn, all I had to do was put the ring on the, I had two hands to choose from. It was a 50, 50% 50 chance I would get it right and I still got it wrong. Okay. And we practiced the night before. Anyways, so I take the ring off and then I put it on the right finger 
and my friend Pookie said a prayer and I asked her to do that. I asked her to pray over us and pray over everybody while we were there and she did. And then we were announced husband and wife. And then after we kissed and did the husband and wife thing, Jeremy's so nervous in front of people, you guys. If you did not know him, you would think that he probably did not want to get married, but he's just, you guys see him in the videos. Like he's, he's a very private laid back chill type of person you know he's not like if he knows you and he's comfortable with you he'll cut up he'll do whatever but like in a big huge group of people like you know he's he's not like me he's not the big loud mouth like, ah, here i am you know he's more like chill thank god he's not because if he was we couldn't be together it'd be way too much for both of us anyways moving on so after we did that me and the boys me jordan Jaden and Jeremy went over and did this sand thing and we did that as like a symbol of our family coming together It was really really special and the sands were like, you know purple and black and white It was beautiful and Jaden did it too. It was just really really nice and so then We go back and Alex carries a little umbrella for me because it's raining. We're all raining I got rain dripping off my nose while I'm saying my vows and we we start taking pictures and all of that which was a bummer i wish we could have gotten a lot more photos but you know it was raining and it was still a, it was perfect day because it was the day that i married my husband it was perfect and we go everybody else all of the guests go underneath the house and start sitting at the tables and then the dj played a song for us and then as us as the wedding party starts walking up we had this plan that two people like a bridesmaid and a groom would walk up you know my mother-in-law father-in-law would walk up but they gotta dance when they go through right in front of everybody to celebrate like you gotta do something you gotta dance so this is the people walking through dancing. You know, we had some boys that dropped it like it's hot. I had to do the little stripper booty shake. That's just how we roll in this clique. And then, of course, me and Jeremy, we had to do our little dance too. And so we danced and then we sat down. And my father-in-law got up and gave a speech. It was absolutely beautiful. Everybody ate. And then after everybody ate, it was time to start partying. Now we had a full open bar and that was something that I really wanted to do. I wanted to make sure that everybody that came could just enjoy, right? They didn't have to worry about how much money they were gonna spend. I just wanted people to come and enjoy and celebrate. So we, and like my mother-in-law and them were huge on this. Like they're part of the military so they can shop on base. So they started like the whole year before like buying alcohol. <laughs> they would buy like, you know, two bottles at a time, you know, tax free or whatever. And then they would save it all up until the wedding day, which was super helpful, really awesome. And I hired a couple bartenders that I worked with because at that time I was bartending as well here. And so I hired a couple of my girls to work the bar and they did great. They made really great tips from everybody and plus we paid them so they had a really good time. And I changed into my other little dress because that wedding dress was hotter than a mug when I tell you it was so doggone hot. And then we started doing the dollar dance. Now, the dollar dance. The dollar dance is probably not a dance that you would think it is. Well, some of y'all may think it is. It is exactly what it says it is. They, we, they sat me and Jeremy down in chairs and some they, people had to pay a dollar to dance for us. Now that was a really good time. But the thing was so many of Jeremy's homeboys gave lap dances like you would not believe. I'm talking about Jeremy had so much booty in his face, Lord. You would have thought it was a dog. You would low it. There was so many twerking and popping and dropping and shaking and hunching. Y'all, Jesus, bless it all. I'm like, there are children here. It wasn't nasty, nasty. It was funny. It was a really good time. It was a really, really good time. And then we just danced. With, you want to know what's funny? I had like two drinks the whole entire night on my wedding night. I just had so much fun. I had one drink at the reception party and then me and my husband and my friends when everybody started leaving went down the road to like this bar to kind of go out with our friends and I had one more drink there I didn't get drunk or anything like that but it was really good and you want to know the thing about it is I wish that I could do it a million times over again you know I always tell people that I know that are getting married to like slow down take your time take it all in if you're getting engaged, like don't stress yourself out. That is a thing that I wish I wouldn't have done. I wish that I would have not been so stressed. I wish that I would have been way more chill and relaxed and took it in. 
And so for any of you guys out there that are getting married, you know, if you're watching this and looking for videos because you are getting married, trust me, don't stress anything. It's going to work out. It will all work itself out, I promise, because at the end of the day, the most important thing is that you're marrying the person that you love. And there's nothing that's going to stop that, you know. If the food burns or if the alcohol doesn't show up or if the DJ is late, like none of those things are going to ruin what is the most important thing about your day and that is marrying your best friend. So trust me guys, don't stress it. I got married in the rain. <laughs> I turned into a crazy person at the end and you know what? It still worked itself out. So, all right, my loves, let me know what you think about this video in the comment section down below. As always, please don't forget to like this video. It's a free way that you can help your girl out. And until next time, I love you guys so, so, so very much. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye.